<sighs> oh, hey guys. Yeah, I just found this new computer in the junkyard. It looks crazy. I mean, look at this. Oh, oh no. Oh. Give you a sec. We're gonna get this thing hooked up. The uh, the junkyard owner was really happy to see this go. He said ever since this got here, it's uh, I mean, kind of cursed around these ends. And right, that wire goes in there, and I think we should be good. Let me just start this thing up. Hold up. Uh, wait, I got a computer, not a VCR player? Uh, look, maybe it's like the window style. This thing's got its own unique... Let me go in. That's what I got! Let's go. Okay. And let's not forget wow. about the incredible gaming experience. The 98XX is the ultimate gaming machine. That's what I'm Bring here for, man. To life. Immerse <laughs> yourself in the thrilling world of jumping Great. and other captivating games. Uh, oh, no, see, that one? My name is Julian, and I am very happy you are playing with me. I'm happy Fire to be here. Fire is incorporated 98XX computer. The perfect blend of excitement, education, and productivity. Experience the future of today. Oh. And that's a quote I like. Maybe do the whole thing reveal at the same time, not that, and then, you know, the positive thing on the end? Guys, it's loading. My new computer is loading. It's kind of slow, though. Still with that woman star, I like it. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to 98XX. Yes, I said welcome back. We played this game like eight months ago. I don't remember much about this game. We played through so many different stuff. However, I know this game had a major update, and then on top of that now, the full release for this game is finally here. So everything that this game is wanting to do story-wise, we can find out about it. Yeah, I'm down. I like the concept of this. It's kind of like a Kinito Pet vibe where we're kind of operating this desktop thing. There's lots of games in between, and we find like weird things as well, speaking about the universe of 98XX, what this company is and how it's kind of messed up. So with that said, let's go ahead and get this thing started, guys. Get your snack, okay? You want that soda? Go ahead and get it right now. If you enjoyed this video, you know exactly what to do, but let's go ahead and log in. I don't even have an account, but 98XX knows he wants me here. And I think that's kind of sinister the way I said that, though. This really is that old school desktop. We got start, jump in Julian, vid, player settings. Okay, hold up. We don't want to change nothing. I like how this is looking right now. Vid player. You have no videos installed. You have to install videos on this thing. Is that old school? Guys, this is a trip down memory lane. That's all I'm saying. This thing's got a lot going for it right now. Oh my goodness. We got math game though. Hold up. Jump in Julian is like the first thing that's loaded up. So I think we're going to start here. It's going to be that experience, guys. I'm looking forward to this though it was a lot of fun last time and it's a very intricate sort of like you know you got to use your eyeballs use your initiative to some of the secrets the way they're hidden it's hard to find but we are going to do our best to find as much as we can it's in that documents though oh shoot they didn't delete everything when we got that 12 31 1998 so we got all this stuff we can check this one and these do all open so we'll take a read of these real soon we got this little three digit thing now i remember roughly what that is look at mirrors inc we understand the critical importance of fast security in today's digital age our research and expertise have led us to develop an innovation solution that combines simplicity with robust protection. We firmly believe that the most secure way to store files is through the utilization of a three-digit code. Allow us to elaborate on the key factors that make this approach highly effective. Okay, so this is just pretty much briefing down like why they do this. And it makes sense, right? Three-digit code, only you're gonna remember that. I mean, people could just go ahead and try and guess it. So let me just, hold on, let me let me clarify here. With a three-digit code, there are a limited number of possible combinations, making it relatively difficult for unauthorized individuals to guess the code correct through brute force methods. But yeah, they, they can literally do that though. You know what I'm trying to say? Eventually someone's gonna get it right? Mirror Zing. So like, I can just straight up like, keep going like this. I'm gonna find those secrets eventually, you know what I'm trying to say? Ah, we'll play it by how they want though. Okay, let's just see, what is this? Are you ready to be a part of the game studio that pushes the boundaries of creativity and innovation? Look no further than Calvis Games. As a leading development company, we are committed to delivering high quality games that captivate players and transport them to extraordinary worlds. Why choose Calvis Games? Uncompromising quality. At Calvis Games, our top priority is to create games of exceptional quality. We pour our passion and expertise into every detail, ensuring that our players enjoy immersive and memorable experiences. Number two, the innovation at the core. We thrive on innovation and constantly push the limits of what is possible in game design. From groundbreaking gameplay mechanics to stunning visuals, we strive to redefine the gaming landscape and leave players awe-inspired. Number three, a collaborative team environment. Join a team of talented and diverse professionals who share a common love for games. Our collaborative work environment fosters creativity and encourages open communication, empowering everyone to contribute their unique perspectives. Okay, this sounds too good, but we already know this game's a horror game, though. 
Number four, growth opportunities. We believe and invest in our employees' professional growth. With exciting projects and challenging assignments, Calvis Games offers ample opportunities to enhance your skills and advance your career in a dynamic gaming industry. Number five, the player-centric approach. We are driven by our players' satisfaction. By wait, hold up. Uh, what is this? Hey, Calvis Games, you made a spelling mistake. Oh, I'm seeing a number five in here. By understanding their preferences, desires, and feedback, we shape games that resonate with hearts and minds, creating law and engaged communities. We're gonna make a note of that though. Number six, work-life balance. We value the well-being and happiness of our team members. Calvis Games promotes a healthy work-life balance, ensuring that you have time for personal pursuits and maintain a fulfilling lifestyle. So join the Calvis Games family. Are you a visionary game developer, a creative artist, a coding genius, or a master of sound design? Wow. Bro, I did that master, not just master though. If you have the passion, skills, and drive to create extraordinary gaming experiences, we want you on our team. Explore exciting career opportunities at Calvis Games and become a part of our journey to shape the future of gaming. Together, we will create worlds that inspire, challenge, and leave players craving for more. Join Calvis Games, where high quality games are brought to life. All right, guys, I see that. Now, I think there's gonna be another number in this one, another one in here. We've read the help about three combination locks unlocking things, so this might pose a key thing that we need to come back to. Let us just start with the reader note. We're actually gonna play through some of these stand with Jumpin' Julian, right? The game that's loaded in the side for us. Dreamer Studios. Okay, so this isn't actually Calvis Games. That's uh, kind of interesting. So it's just like an offshoot because we know like, Do I bump my head or like? All right, Hello so there. Dreamworks Studios. My name is Julian, and I am very happy you are playing with me. You're welcome, Hello. sir. When people play with Yo, me, I can mute this dude. I want arrow keys and space bar to help me make my way up. All right, arrow uh -huh. keys. I'll try. How's the gameplay mechanics? I jump with Julian though. Skate and Julian. You see that? Look, bop. Ooh, hits the jump fresh right there. Now I remember playing this before, and I remember this game was difficult. Yeah, okay. I yeah, you did. Alright, sir. This looks a bit tougher. Oh, shit. Well, I should make it through. Even I should make it. Look, if I press right, who's controlling you, Julian? You have no brain. You have no control in this. Yeah, that's right. Make eye contact with me. I control you. I can make you do whatever I want. All right, with that said, let's stop creeping the dude out, right? Hey, all right, we made that one number two. Yeah, Bop. I did it. No, I did it. I'm done with this dude now taking this my credit. Does it now? Do this. Yes, you can. That's the optimi- We need that optimization, bro. Come on, let's go, let's go. Look, he says I can do this. Prove it. Oh, shoot, he nearly fell right there. Though. Hold up. Whoa! What the heck? I got- Bro, I actually just got scammed. Hold up. I didn't realize this game was actually like that, though. Dream more studios. Yeah, dream no more studios. More like, bro, this game is- bad though guys last project first project first and only you know come on yeah this game is like this you know guys you gotta be uh you gotta be prepared for jumping julian all right it turns into rage julian so if you go off the screen this dude is like oh i would go ahead and just start the game again because that's how i roll why am i like this i don't know we've won though oh shoot my what hold up a fatal exception has occurred can i do i should i copy that code let's leave it for now we'll press any key there you go um my desktop boots back up. Okay, so hold up. Dream World Studios, they built this game, and the ending is a blue screen. What a dang reward. Ooh. We do get that, though. Log back in, yes, please. Mirrors Inc. 9698. It's one of those games where everything has to be taken into account, like dates, everything. Let's load this up. So, so I remember, I think it works in like waves of three. Wait, hold up. Hello? Jumping. Wait, hey, hey! Oh. I can't press play. It seems that a problem has occurred. But do not worry as I have fixed the game and made it even better. All right. Wait, you you gonna walk back in your game? So look at him, he's going for a little daytime stroll. I do have something to ask. Do you ever wonder if there's an afterlife? Sometimes. It's something I really been thinking about. Well, uh, anyway, let's play the game. Okay. Thanks, uh... All right, Julian. Okay, it's one of those games, again, like, you gotta think so. Is the AI consciously aware that things like this can go down? Yeah, get your freaking game, bro. Oh, no. Are these randomized? Nah, bro. Oh, wait, that's good. Look, it gets rid of them. <gasps> yes, let's go. Wait, no. No, 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 no. They fall back down if they go off screen. Yo, this is harder. I'm waiting. Oh, my freaking God. Dude, this is about to make me go crazy. I didn't realize it'd be random like that. Please, 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 please. Ah! I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. Simple as. That actually made me jump. I'm so disappointed in myself. It's like, I know I'm playing a horror game, but like, 
Don't, 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 don't. Just let me win, let me win. Yeah, I could it. You better go off the screen quick time, dude. That, those things are coming for you. I'm just gonna commit because it seems like if you get hit, it doesn't matter anyway, even though, you know, it kind of does. But you know what I'm trying to say? Oh my, can we make that jump, please, bud? I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Hold on, let's go, let's go. They're adding more, bro. They're adding more. Oh, I hate this. I actually hate this. Yeah, I remember this being really annoying last time, and I know it's gonna be the same again. Oh my gosh. Like, that's something they were hitting me, like, through this. Look at this. It didn't even touch me. Guys, this game is a rage game. I'm telling you right now. What? Oh my god. Guys, I'll just see you at the end. Oh my goodness. Are you serious right now? Let's go, please. Yeah, Thank you. Now on to the next level. Oh, there's not a the wave three of this, man. So okay, this don't look so bad. I'm just kidding. Those things can hit you through the floor. Okay, we gotta go like now, right? This game's gonna be clunky as freak, bro. Look at that. I'm barely making that. Gotta go, gotta go. Oh, wow. I remember the timing of this last time. It was so tricky, right? So now it's just the ones on the top layer. But this should be a little bit more simple, perhaps. Like, jump now. I'm holding my breath, guys. I'm holding my breath. I shouldn't do that. I'm gonna pass out. Yeah, buddy. How was that the easiest one? I got, I got the blue screen of victory! Yes, yes, yes! No need to congratulate me, I know I am the best! Bro, I broke my computer, I'm not the best. I broke my computer. We ace jumping Julian, right? Frustration, Julio. Julio? Julio, who the fuck is Julio? Sign me back in. Ah. Okay, they decided to hit the lower note. Somehow we're gonna work? I hope it's not best of three. That would kind of get crazy, though. So, uh... Oh. Oh. That actually freaked me out, bro. I think your game's broken. Wait, what? Hey, yo, yo, what's going on? Ooh. Someone breathing down my dang neck, bro. You done? Your breath kind of stinks, though. Uh, yes, definitely an error. We can see that error. Are we done right now? I would like to be done. Whoa. Do you ever wonder why that happens? No? Death comes unexpectedly. One moment you're fine, and then it all ends. Oh. Self illusion, you must die. You must die. You must what die. What are you doing, you bud? Die. Stop with that! Oh, shoot, he's gone. He's oh, die. yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna. There's a different crash, though. Hold up. Oh, you're happy about the crash? Yeah, skip you then. It's only your eyes, bro. Ah! I feel flustered, dude. I need that comfort in, like... Just hit the note, hit the note. Come on, come on. Hello? Log me back in. What the freak was that? Dude's talking about death and stuff. So we can load the game up again. Hang on, let me just see what he says here. We're gonna use that to determine, have we beat this guy or do we gotta go through? Okay, pause on that statement then. This is like a restart. With me. You can mute that, dude. Oh, he can still ramble though. Okay, don't care though. So we, technically we must have beat that, right? We've, we got through it, so, okay, kind of weird, kind of weird, we can say that. Uh, great. So we'll move him down here for now. Let's keep a mental tab of what we've beaten and what we haven't got. We've still got some more stuff to do. Documents, let's check out the next one in the list, right? This one. So it's another, uh, oh no, a concerned parent regarding my son. Okay, and we keep our eyes peeled for a number in here. Dear Calvis Games Team, I'm writing to you as a concerned parent regarding my son and his increasing addiction to your games. As a game studio that strives to make high quality games, I believe you value the well-being of your players and I am reaching out to seek your support and guidance. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge the, the exceptional quality of the games developed by Calvis Games. The immersive experiences and captivating gameplay have undoubtedly contributed to my son's deep engagement and enjoyment. Have you literally played those games though, bro? Saying that wasn't the game that we just experienced not made by them, I, at least I hope so. However, it has come to my attention that his gaming habits have started to interfere with his daily life and overall well-being. I have noticed a significant decline in his academic performance, reduced social interactions, and a lack of interest in other activities that were once important to him. Additionally, he has been displaying signs of restlessness and irritability when he is unable to access or play your games. These concerning behaviors have led me to believe that his attachment to your games may be turning into an unhealthy addiction. As a responsible game studio, I kindly request your assistance in addressing this issue. I understand that parental control and guidance may, be, may play a crucial role in managing my son's gaming habit, habits, but I believe that the involvement and support of Calvis Games could make a significant difference. I am hopeful that together we can promote a healthier and more balanced approach to gaming. I appreciate your attention to this matter and look forward to hearing from you soon. Should you require any additional information or wish to discuss this matter further, please 
do not hesitate to contact me at your earliest convenience. Thank you for understanding and support. Bro, they don't care about you. Why are you, why are you acting like they're going to support you? They don't even know who you are. Okay, Paper 2 then has a 3. We can absolutely brute force this. It turns it into a 1 in 10 chance of finding out what's in here. This is a fairly small message too, so we will read this now. Dear Mirez team, I am writing to express my heartfelt gratitude for the new addition you have implemented in your desktop software. The feature where pressing the enter keys reorganize the desktop has made significant positive impact on my daily digital experience. As someone who frequently works on my desktop and often finds it cluttered with multiple files and icons, the simple act of pressing the enter key now brings a sense of order and efficiency to my workflow. Your thoughtful implementation has saved me precious time that I used to spend manually arranging and organizing my desktop items. The convenience and effectiveness of this feature has not only improved the productivity, but also enhanced my overall satisfaction for using Mirror software. It is evident that your team strives to create user-centric solutions that simplify and optimize our digital lives. I commend your dedication to continuous improvement and to your commitment to providing a seamless user experience. This innovative addition has exceeded within eight my expectations and I'm grateful for the positive impact it's had on my daily work routine. Once again, thank you for your commitment and excellence. I'm excited to see how Mirrors continues to evolve and bring further enhancements to its products in the future. So we have five, three, and eight in this dude. Bro, it's, it's literally pressing the enter key. What the freak? It's not even that big of a feature though. Hit that. It's a new date. So in the timeline, this does, it looks like it falls like in between these two here. So let's open this, hold up. Subject instant report, a break in and disturbance at Greenwood Cemetery. On February 18th, 1999 at approximately 12.34 AM, a break in and disturbance were reported at Greenwood Cemetery. I responded to the call and arrived at the scene at approximately 1.36 AM. Upon arrival, I met with the reporting party who stated that they witnessed an individual breaking into the cemetery and digging up graves. The witness reported that they immediately called emergency services, but before the authorities arrived, the suspect fled the scene on foot, escaping any apprehension. Investigation and actions team. Upon the arrival at the scene, I conducted a preliminary investigation. I observed that exactly two disturbed grave sites were, where soil had been dug up, indicating recent disturbance. I also interviewed the witness and gathered relevant information regarding the suspect's physical appearance and direction of escape. I conducted a thorough search of the surrounding area, but due to the suspect's timely escape, I was unable to locate or apprehend them. However, I ensured the preservation of the crime scene, collecting potential evidence such as footprints, tool marks, and any other trace evidence that could aid in the investigation. I also contacted the Greenwood Cemetery staff and informed them of the incident. They provided access to cemetery records and indicated their willingness to cooperate fully in the investigation. CCTV footage from nearby surveillance cameras is being reviewed to identify any additional evidence related to the incident. Conclusion The incident at Greenwood Cemetery involved a break in a disturbance where an individual was seen digging up graves. Despite immediate response and research efforts, a sus the suspect had managed to escape prior to apprehension. The investigation is ongoing and all available evidence is being processed and analyzed to identify the suspects and bring them to justice. This report serves as an initial documentation of the incident. Any further developments, evidence, or witness statements will be added to the report as the investigation progresses. Okay, so that was a hidden file on this lost computer. So who does this computer belong to? Is it the person who wrote this? So could they be a police officer or something? That's a curious observation and one we should pay attention to. So let's press enter. Wow, jumping Julian really jumped back. Stay down there though. So we got all these other games, all these other apps. We got Pixel Paint and it literally is what it says, guys. Look, we can... Uh, yeah, he's a happy boy, and look, oh no, guys, there's a sad boy there. What the freak? What do you say to him? Why would you do that? I know what I'm doing, guys. I have no idea. I'm gonna close this down. Let's think. Photo editor. So I think last time was I not looking through this, and before we uh, we saw some kind of funky stuff. Look, we got all kind of shapes. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look, we make those squares. Wow. Look, I have made the leaning tower of uh, well squares though. Look at that, John. What the freak? So we've got the Razzy employees JPEG, and we can uh, yeah, you know, let's make him a bit evil, right? Like that dude. Oh man, where you gotta be, William? After though. What the freak? There you go. Oh, no, guys. Oh, we found him. He's that brightness, though, so we can... Oh, that's kind of curious. Oh, maybe we could find things if we, uh, kind of look through this, huh? Oh, check that. Oh, okay. Five, five, five. Write that down. Hold up. Okay, we're going to clear that, and then let's go five dice. We can... Oh, this is cool. How you can invert the colors, though. So not everything is going to have what you need. What about the brightness, though? Three, dude, they're just scribbling things everywhere around here, though. Clear that junk, seagulls, right? Seagulls, have we got anything here? I'm getting inverting, though. What those seagulls? What the freak is this? Seven four nine six one? Well, I don't think we need to do a whole lot more here. I could up the brightness, but we've, uh, you know, we kind of seen what we need to. We could. Ah, the invert, look, it doesn't work at the same time, huh? Okay, close that though. So two new documents straight out the bat. Are you serious though? Five five five. The freak, I'm trying to. Put that, that's not working. Okay, so that was a false flag, maybe? Try 398, that's not doing anything. Huh, maybe that's for something else, I'm not too sure. We've got security. What is all of this? Security center, hold on, execute? What am I trying to execute though? Okay, we got some codes down here. 
I'm gonna hold on to those. I don't know what that means. Am I doing something wrong here, perhaps? Because I feel like this should, this should work up though. Like they've given us codes for a reason. Definitely triple five. Yeah, I was wondering if it was like five, six, five, huh? Okay, so we'll remember that for now. That's interesting. What about Kingdom Quest? This looks like a new game. The, the little image looks kind of freaky. Ooh, it's an actual Calvers Games. Let's get it. Let's see what these guys have been up to, huh? Hey, is that it? That's it. Oh, that looks so messed up. I hate that already. Let's start. Let's look at how to play. Use the arrow keys to navigate Princess Angelica back to her castle through the labyrinth. Click keys to unlock doors and avoid piranha infested waters. You have limited moves in the time. Okay. Ah, so I could go like this way. Down. Three, four. I mean, the moves, we can pretty much only do these moves, right? Oh, shoot. Go. Two, one. But she'd have been moving there though. Okay, I get it. This could be kind of fun. So one, two. We just want to time our move past those piranhas. That's the main objective here. So wait, and there you go. Look at that. That's how you do it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, this is kind of fun. Dude, this was what it was all about. I am indeed eaten. Yeah, games, they were just simple back in the day, guys. Like, it didn't need to be all advanced, crazy graphics. Like, if a game works, that's all we needed, really. Okay, we got it. We got it too easy. Bye. Going home. I mean, if you wanted more, you didn't get it anyway. There was no, uh, you know, no graphical crazy stuff going on at this time. We just had to make do with what we got. Okay, so this one, fairly simple, right? Just hold out a second. Let's go. Oh, we made the sprint. Angelica playing it risky with those piranhas, though. Just wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do I get that key? Huh? Hold up. Wait, what? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 what the freak? This is weird. Uh, X, 98 XX cannot run this program because the following is missing. Key.dll. Please locate the file, then try it. What the freak are you talking about? I want to play my game. What was that? So my issue there was I actually walked off the screen. So I don't know if I broke that game by accident. Let's go back and hold up. Maybe I messed up. Why the bloody keys though? That's, uh, well, alarming. Let's get back in the game. We're playing this chunk. Let's go. Calvis Games out here making some jacked up stuff too. Like, come on right now, guys. Wait, we gotta be cool with this. You're just gonna freak the kids out, right? Kids playing that bloodied up keys. What are you thinking? Come on. You want that, like, popping music. You know, I'll add it over, guys, right? This is what we want to hear when we play this game, okay? Here at Calvis Games, we make the games, but we don't add any music. Oh, wait, I'm stuck. Bro, I got scammed right there. I didn't realize you could stop. You can press like right to any point you want to move. Okay, so what? this is what people are getting addicted to? Buddy, I, I fear for what you guys have as entertainment in this world. Like, it's this is it? This is your peak though? Like, it's 98 or whatever, but like, come on, we had like, you know, we had Doom by this point, bro. Like, Calvary's games are lacking, right? Definitely lacking, hold up. So let's try this one again. Got the key, let's go back, get this key. All right, and let's just go to the smiley face thing. We did it! Uh, and you don't look good! Is this not home? Because I thought it might have been home. I don't like it when you stare at me, Princess Angelica. Wait. We're, we're walking. What the freak? Where to? <gasps> I have no idea. Do I go up? Do I go down? Up oh, feels bad, but it's definitely making something happen. She's saying, help me? Look, I'm falling back. Sorry? Hey, bro, she stopped. I don't know if she said sorry or not. I called, but no one answered. I cried, but no one cared. There is no way out. Ah? Uh, this hell is eternal. What's Calvin's Games been doing to make these games? Cheer that frown frown! That's like a missing kid, right? What's going on? Hold up. What What did they do? Did they like use some kind of weird system to be able to trap souls in their operating system to give life to their characters? Like, what's going on with this? Are we done with it or not? I don't know. Kingdom Quest. That like, what more could we really do in that one? We'll leave that there for now. Dancing with Darcy.exe, ew. What is surfer, bro? I'm down to surf though. We surf the web, yo. Search, give me yo, right now. Oh, the page you're looking for is unavailable. Hey, look, we got theory, game theory, top of the morning, absolutely good coffee. All right, we see this now. Can you actually go on this? No way. Oh, uh, Razzie.com, Mirrors.com, World Articles. So we could look a little bit into this, I guess we could see. It looks like Razzie and Mirrors are two different companies in the World Articles. Let's uh, check on Mirrors.com first. This might be the operation system then, so. Why run incorporated? Oh, heck no, you ain't talking now, what the freak. Mirrors Inc. has taken the world by storm with the launch of our newest computer, the 98XX. This cutting edge device has been praised by tech experts and consumers alike for its ability to seamlessly run games, surf the web, and handle all of the computing needs. So how the 
Ford, Mirrors Inc. come to be the best computer company in the world. We saved that. That's the second web page too, so I'm gonna put second four. It all started with their partnership with Razzie Inc., a leading software development company. Razzie Inc. provided Mirrors Inc. with the resources and expertise to create a computer that, wait, there's a five here as well in could. Handle the most demanding applications and provide an unparalleled user experience. The result was the 90XX, a computer that was has revolutionized the industry with its lightning fast performance and stunning graphics. Gamers can now play the most demanding games with ease while creative professionals can run complex design software without any hiccups. The 90XX is also incredibly versatile with the ability to handle all kinds of tasks and ease from browsing the web to video editing. This computer can do it all. All of these facts have contributed to Mirrors Inc's success, making them the best computer company in the world. With the launch of 90XX, they have set a new standard for computing excellence and innovation. And their commitment to customer satisfaction ensures that they will continue to lead the industry for years to come. Okay, what is this though? Look, we see that these numbers, what does this mean? Can we maybe make like a URL with this? Like the four, do we take the letter before or after? You know, and try and mix this thing together. I don't really know. Okay, well that's that. Let's go on this one then. Let me just look first of all for numbers. Let me just scan through. Look, there's numbers here too. This is Razzie.com. This website is a mess, by the way. What a cluster. In 1991, Bob Carter founded Razzie Inc. with a vision to revolutionize the computer chip industry. Today, his company is one of the most successful in the tech industry with its cutting edge chips being used in a wide range of applications, from consumer electronics to aerospace. So what makes Razzie Inc.'s chips so special? It all comes down to their innovative design and superior performance. Razzie Inc. has developed chips that are faster, smaller, and more power efficient than anything else on the market. This has made them the go-to choice for companies looking to stay ahead of the curve in rapidly evolving tech landscapes. The human brain can function just like a chip, so he's trying to, okay, he's marketing it like that, like AI going that far. Hello. There's that boy right there. One of Razzie Inc.'s biggest achievements has been its ability to shrink chip sizes without sacrificing performance. This has allowed companies to create smaller, more portable devices without compromising on computer power. Razzie Inc. has also been at the forefront of developing chips that consume less power, reducing energy uses and carbon footprint for companies and consumers alike. Another factor in Razzie Inc.'s success has been their ability to stay ahead of the competition with cutting edge research and development. The company invests heavily into R&D, constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the world of computer chips. This has resulted in some truly groundbreaking innovations, including chips with built-in artificial intelligence and neuro networking capabilities. But Razzie Inc.'s success is not due to its technological innovations. The company has also made a name for itself by prioritizing customer satisfaction and maintaining strong relations with its clients. They work closely with companies to develop custom solutions that meet their specific needs and can provide ongoing support to ensure that their chips perform to the highest standards. Overall, Razzie Inc. has set a new standard for excellence in the computer chip industry. Its innovative designs and superior performance have made it a go-to choice for companies looking to stay ahead of the curve and its commitment to customer satisfaction has helped it build a lower following of clients. As technology continues to evolve at a rapid pace, Razzie Inc. is well positioned to continue leading charge with its groundbreaking chip. So we see one, two, and three again, but we hear about what this company is. Last up, world articles, right? Let's see. In recent months, a new game has taken the internet by storm, captivating the attention of kids and adults alike. Bro, if it's that freaking Jumping Julian, these kids, they need more stuff in their life. Jumping Julian, created by Dreamer Studios and developed by John Monkford, is a platformer that has gained immense popularity in a short period of time. One of the game's biggest draws is its addictive gameplay. Jumping Julian is easy to pick up, but difficult to master, making players want to keep trying until they beat a level. However, as with many popular games, parents are skeptical about the impact it may have on their children. Many worry that their kids are becoming addicted to the game and spending too much time playing it. Overall, Jumping Julian is a fun, exciting game that has taken the internet by storm. While parents may be skeptical of its impact on their children, it's important to recognize the potential benefits of gaming and set appropriate boundaries. With this addictive gameplay and positive messaging, Jumping Julian is sure to remain a fan favorite. Okay, so we've got these numbers again, but I don't know how we use them. Wait, hold on. I think I remember. If we, wait, 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 hold up. If I'm right, so where's number one? I think we do this and we just simply click through them. So we'll do this for four, five, six, four, five, and then number six. Let's go back. Seven, eight, nine. Yes, this, this is all we had to do. Mysterious disappearance of Jason Storm from Razzie Inc. In early October of 98, Jason Storm, an employee of Razzie Inc. Dis Dude, they can't do that. I'm trying to read right now. Oh my God, bro, was that you? Why are you knocking on my door though? He disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Storm, a promising young engineer, was last seen headed to the company's warehouse where he was scheduled to work on a new project where he failed to return, his colleagues raised the alarm and a search was launched. However, despite an intensive investigation, no trace of Storm has ever been found. The disappearance of Jason Storm remains a mystery to this day and has left his family, friends, and colleagues with many unanswered questions. Rumors and speculation have swirled around in the incident, with some suggesting foul play and others pointing to a potential accident or technical malfunction. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, some have even speculated that Razzie Inc. may have played a role in Storm's disappearance. However, the company has strongly denied any involvement and has cooperated fully with authorities in their investigation. The case has remained open with authorities continuing to search for any clues that may help shed light on what happened to Jason Storm. 
Meanwhile, his loved ones continue to hold out the hope that he may one day be found alive and well. The disappearance of Jason Storm has made a profound impact on those who knew him and has served as a reminder of the dangers that can lurk even in the most seemingly secure and mundane of workplaces. It has also raised important questions about work safety and responsibilities of employers to ensure the well-being of their employees. I'll click this once we're done. While the case may remain unsolved, the memory of Jason Storm lives on and his disappearance continues to serve as a cautionary tale about the importance of workplace safety and the need for companies to prioritize the well-being of their employees. Okay, so we got an article about a graveyard robbery and now this dude who passed away and we're going to another article the rise and fall of jumping julian hold up in the world of video games success can be fleeting one day you're the talk of the town the next you're yesterday's news bro it's like falling off on youtube this was the case for jumping julian the once popular game created can you stop knocking? I'm reading. A popular game created by John Monkford that quickly fell out of the favor due to harsh feedback. Jumping Julian was initially greeted with excitement and anticipation. The game promised a unique platforming experience with vibrant visuals and engaging gameplay. However, as players began to spend more time with the game, they started to notice some serious design flaws. One of the biggest complaints was the game's annoying gameplay, which featured frustrating controls and repetitive level design. It's not just me. Players found themselves getting stuck on obstacles and dying frequently, leading to a sense of frustration and boredom. The poor design choices were not lost on players reviews for the game were overwhelmingly negative. One person in particular, Jason Storm, left an extremely harsh review that left John Monkford heartbroken and depressed. The negative feedback provided to be too much to Monkford, who struggled to cope with the criticism. Bro, take some breath, Mitch. Your breath is bad, though. After a few months, he decided to leave the game development business to pursue other opportunities, and Monkford landed a job at Razzie Inc., a company known for its innovative computer chips. While he may have left the game development world behind, his experience with Jumping Julian taught him valuable lessons about the importance of listening to feedback and constantly striving to improve. The downfall fall of Jumping Julian serves as a cautionary tale for game developers everywhere. It's a reminder that success can be fleeting and that even the most promising games can quickly fall out of favor if they fail to live up to the player's expectations. That is true. So Jason Storm, the guy that's now missing, left a bad review on this and then he's now disappeared and this dude who worked on Jumping Julian is now working for uh, Razzy Inc, which is like the uh, the computer chip company. Uh, let's take the third one here. What now? This is like a, bro, is it ever gonna end? We got, we're going through again, are you serious? The outbreak of Razzy Inc, I ain't saying that word, hold up. It keeps giving me shivers and it's not even that scary though. In a shocking turn of events, several employees at Razzie Inc. have committed that while playing the game Jumping Julian. The game created by former employee Mr. Monkford has been linked to the deaths of multiple staff members, leaving the company reeling and the gaming community in shock. What's going on with this game? The first reported incident occurred in October of 98 when a Razzie Inc. employee was found dead in his office surrounded by a screen showing Jumping Julian. At the time, the incident was considered an isolated case and was attributed to personal issues rather than the game itself. However, over the next few weeks, click this, several more employees took their own lives playing the game. Concerned staff members raised the alarm and the company sent out a me memo advising employees to avoid playing the game altogether. As the toll continued to rise, Razzie management began to investigate the matter more closely. They discovered that Mr. Monkford, the game's creator, had included subliminal messages in the game that appeared to have triggered the rate in some players. In response, the company contacted the police and launched a search for Monkford. However, when they finally located him, they too discovered that he too had done that. What the freak? The instance of Razzie Inc. have sent shockwaves through the game and industry, raising important questions about the responsibility of game developers and the potential risks associated with immersive gameplay. It's also highlighted the need for companies to take a closer look at the content of the games they produce and to ensure that they are not promoting harmful behavior or causing undue harm to players. So we had a report about a kid being addicted to this game. That is not good. The tragedy has also underscored the importance of mental health in the workspace and the need for companies to provide support and resources for employees who may be struggling with personal issues. In the wake of the instance, Razzie Inc. has issued a public apology and is committed to taking a more proactive approach in ensuring the safety and well-being of its employees, the company has pledged to work with mental health experts to develop further policies and procedures for identifying and addressing mental issues in the workspace. These incidents at Razzie Inc. serve as a sobering reminder of the potential risks and consequences associated with game development. It is a tragedy that has left lasting impact on the company and gaming community as a whole and has raised important questions about the ethics and responsibilities of the developers. So click that three. How far are we going to go? Is it? Dude, what the freak? And there's more? Razzie Inc. shuts down after the instance. So it is a continuation. I guess we have to. Can you stop breathing? I'm reading, bud. Razzie Inc was a once leading computer chip company known for their innovative designs and cutting edge technology. However, the company's success was short lived. In 98, several employees at Razzie Inc committed an incident while playing Jumping Julian, a game created by Mr. Monkford who had previously worked for the company. It doesn't even get me no more. The tragic incident sent shockwaves through the gaming company and beyond, leading to an investigation by police and an intense scrutiny of the game's industry as a whole. It was discovered that the game had a hidden code that triggered 
triggered tendencies in some players leading to their tragic deaths. The revelation sparked a wave of panic and fear among gamers and game developers, with many calling for increased regulation over the in the oversight of the industry. In the wake of the incident, Razzie Inc. was forced to shut down and the company's assets were sold off to other companies. One of the most sought after assets of Razzie Inc. was their revolutionary computer chips. These were highly coveted by gaming companies who saw the potential for their use in developing new and exciting games. Many of these chips were distributed to other companies, allowing them to continue pushing the boundaries of gaming tech. However, the incident at Razzie serves as a stark reminder of the dark side of gaming. While the video games can be a source of entertainment and joy, they can also have serious consequences if not handled responsibly. It is essential that game developers and companies prioritize the safety and that regulatory bodies enforce strict guidelines to prevent similar tragedies occurring in the future. And that's, oh, we get a video from this one. All right, I mean, it's a valid point, right? Obviously what they were doing was bad. So if we go over to where the, where's the videos at? Is it in here? Hold up, vid player. What the freak? Hold up. I'm gonna scan this. Don't go off my screen right now. Hold up. It does open. Hold up. A link. What the heck is this? Hold up. Morse code too. Listen, guys. I know where it starts. Okay, we can hear that. There's some kind of... It's a coded thing. Hold up. Okay, it loads up a web page here called 98 World. We got this. We got home. So this might actually be like a legitimate website. Look, we got like a... Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at this. So it's like an actual uh, little story here. We could uh, browse this website if we want. Like how to set up. It's... Uh, yeah, it's all here. Check this. Yo, this is... Oh my gosh. Look at all this reading though. Again, this game is like a lot of reading. Maybe we can only really read the first page. Like that one about how, how it's made. That might help. First off, before we do that, let's go back here, right? Look, I... Some Thing here 534 that might be another code we can use too. we can get this text too, right look convert it into this that's some kind of code isn't it but what code hold up guys i'm gonna try and ask chat gbt on my phone what this is yo it, it might actually be working it knows what it is it said that <laughs> no way it's hexadecimal value all right guys so the code convert down says i wonder in dance but never, but never in light, light. it gets their heads head and feed off of their, their anger, anger. Yeah. You, you wish, wish to, to find me with all of your might seek, seek out these places, places and look much harder hard. these okay so these like three more games all right we, we are not going to be bouncing between loads of games bro i'll never be able to escape this otherwise let's try the code 534? Nah, nothing there. Didn't do anything. Hold up. Oh, I remember. Okay, I remember this, though. I remember getting that image. So that was the dude from before. Uh, is there something? Okay, I can't see that. Hold up. If you click this brace. Yeah, and then you get 749, apparently. Hit that. It's a new one right here. 81298. Here. Fatal car accident caused by a drunk driver. Hold up. What? On August 12, 98, a tragic car accident occurred. And the accident involved two vehicles, a blue sedan driven by a mother and a black pickup truck driven by a man in his 30s. According to eyewitnesses, the truck was traveling at high speed and swerving across lanes prior to the collision. The blue sedan carrying a mother and daughter was proceeding in the correct lane when the truck abruptly collided with it from the side. As a result of the collision, both the mother and the daughter sustained critical injuries. Emergency medical services were immediately dispatched to the scene and the victims were transported to the hospital. Despite the efforts of the medical personnel, both of them succumbed to their injuries at the hospital and were pronounced deceased. Upon investigation, it was determined that the driver of the black truck was under the influence of alcohol at the time of the incident. Standardized field sobriety tests and a breathalyzer test indicated a significantly higher blood alcohol content, passing the legal limit. The suspects exhibited signs of impairment, including slurred speech, bloodshot eyes, and an odor of alcohol on their breath. They were charged with multiple offensive, including vehicular manslaughter, driving under the influence and reckless driving. Additional witnesses, including those who saw the suspect consuming alcohol prior to the accident will be interviewed together. So we hear about that. So I question that Princess Kingdom game thing. Like, could that have something to do with the, uh, maybe the lady? Like, the kid? Maybe in that one? I don't know. We'll put that down here for now. Okay, let's go through again. I'm gonna try Wait, we've done Surfer. Hold up. Put that down there. Let's try Talking Gerald, bro. This thing gave me nightmares last time. And this is another Calvin's, or Calvis games, excuse me. It's Talking Gerald. Great. <laughs> Love that. Ask Gerald a question. Hello? Hello there, friend. Sorry, a My question. name is Gerald. Yeah. It's wonderful to meet you. Great to see you too, Gerald. Tell me a joke. What do you get when dinosaurs crash their cars? We Piranosaurus Rex. Oh! Ha ha ha. Hold on. I'm gonna need a minute after that one. Bro, you have no humor in your box. Shut the freak up. Oh, yo, we can go there. Uh, let's ask this. I exist for your entertainment. Great mail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And the family showing up in photo shows as words that are surrounding you. Is only true in those more than half days around the guy's spirit. Are you done? What the freak was that? He was talking backwards. What's your favorite thing to do? I can't do much, but sometimes I just like to relax and think of the things that make me happy. I mean, what else can you do, right? No offense. Uh, let's let's call him a nice person, that is right? The nicest thing anyone has said to me. Uh huh. I might just shed a tear. All right, keep it real, bro. You're not gonna do that. I gotta go here. Hey, let's be positive around here. Okay, can I keep going like this though? Oh, um, wow. Listen, we don't have to go down this way. Oh. Let's just change the subject. Sorry. Uh, too late for you. Please. Please don't do this to me. Wow. I mean no harm. It wasn't my fault. 
I don't know why what? I'm here. Why did I deserve false. this? Who huh? am I? Why am I? She's talking about freaking hamburgers, bro. What's going on with you? Okay, is that another dead person? Then it's like, hold up, people. Oh, this this could be employees that were dying, I guess. In involvement with the uh, the Jumpin' Julian game, because we got a thing like that guy got hired. People at the company then were starting to. Uh, it wasn't going well for them, and then we just see that though. Hold up. Well, that's always been like in case within these games or something like that. Is that what was going on though? Hold up. I want to try and go a different route. Let me just try and get some nice, like, some nuances. Hello, Hold up. Can you tell me a story? Two brothers dreamed of making the best lemonade stand in the neighborhood. One was successful, the other was not. Okay. The boy, desperate for his business to become successful, added some new ingredients to the drinks to try and make them better, but he did not know it would make others sick. His Dang. mom angry at what her son that, did punished him by stopping him from selling lemonade, leaving the other successful brother to keep selling lemonade. Yeah, I mean, like, the other dude literally killed someone, though, so that makes sense, right? Okay, I'm gonna close that down for now. Oh, should I talk more? I don't know. Can we get more from this? Okay, I'm gonna assume that that dude is, uh, you know, we, we've, we've dealt with him as much as we need to, right? Like, we don't need to speak with that thing anymore. It's just, it's just a head though, so I'm kind of glad about that, no offense, but so you go down amongst the game graveyard, we'll call it that. We got audio player, we got jumping Julian, hold up, play. Can that sound up though? So I think, if I remember correct, is there stuff in this where we can hear numbers or messages? I feel like I remember that being a feature. Reverse. Is it doing it? The thing's lit up. I don't see anything. What would I, what would I see? I, it's audio, bro. So maybe there's nothing in there, reverse that. Like, why not here? Hold up. Report. Ooh, little things in there. Unknown. Hello. You know. Bro, you got some. You got some cryptids on here. Hold up. Reverse that. Anything in there? Nah, there's nothing in there. All right. Slash report. Right? That's what he said to do. And here we go. We've got this. Report Gary Summers. On August 12th, 98, at approximately 10.45 p.m., a tragic car accident occurred at an intersection. The incident involves Gary Summers, a 34-year-old male who was arrested at the scene for drunk driving and his involvement with the accident, accident to kill his mother and daughter. So this is the actual paper for what happened here. At the time of the incident, Gary Summers was in, was driving a black pickup truck while under the influence of alcohol that resulted in impaired judgment and delay. I mean, we've heard all this before, though, right? We kind of brief this. The impact of the collision was severe, leading to significant damage of both vehicles. It's more, yeah, this part is more interesting here. Gary Summers was arrested at the spot and taken to custody by Officer James Anderson, who was the first responder at the scene. Summers was cooperative during the arrest, and his blood alcohol content was measured to be above the legal limit for the operating of the vehicle. He was charged with driving under the influence and vehicular manslaughter, so that's fair enough. Summers remained in custody from the time of his arrest until March 3rd, 99, when a man whose identity has not been disclosed at this time arrived at the county jail and posted Summers bail. Wait, what? The bail payment secured Summers temporary release pending the trial. The individual providing bail has also informed the jail staff that he was offering Summers a job opportunity to support his rehabilitation efforts. However, it should be noted that the bail does not exonerate the accused of their charges and Summers is still obligated to attend all future court proceedings related to the case. Okay, so the guy who caused the accident then... Wait, he was picked up by someone that we don't know by the sounds of things? Okay, dancing with what? Darcy? What the freak? There's a lot of Calvis games this time. We didn't see all these last time, so this is kind of interesting. I wonder what more we can find. Find the reoccurring. Ah! I don't want to dance, Darcy. You know, I'm, I, I hurt my ankle today. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling it. Now let's do it, right? My name is Darcy. Okay. And welcome to my dance. Team. I'm gonna go easy. I don't even know what I'm Two. doing, guys. What is it? Friday Night Funkin' though? What the freak? Dance. Okay. Oh, we. Oh. Oh, shoot. Ew, the music's kind of weird, though. Ew, sorry. It dances good, but. Yeah, it's like that game, bro. What's that game called where people click super quick on the, cr the screen? Okay, so, uh, lot of this, right? Lot of this. You don't kill me, I'm happy. If I'm happy, you're happy, I think. Okay, are we good? Okay, what's the purpose of this, though? How long does this go on for? I'm just wondering, like, uh, do I get something if I beat this? So we've done our dancing, Darcy. I get it. Kind of fun. Maybe patch your walls up. Looks like when you drilled into those walls, you uh, kind of bust up the rock, though. You know, probably should have thought about that before doing it. Excellent. I think we're done. Here we You're go. Natural dancer. Great. So we have to beat on all levels. All right. Two. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Just going to start going. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm going to be like. Hold up. It's just quicker, but it's the same thing, all right? You know how we do things around here, though, guys? Come on, right now. It's just a workout, right? Uh, dancing with Darcy. Oh. 
You want it with Darcy? No. Oh, shoot. Whoops. Why does this song sound a bit like it's breaking up almost? Why am I able to predict where these are going, though? You know what I'm trying to say? It's like, always oh, just hold the thing in the middle of the screen and get ready, right? How we do it? What is that? Uh... Why did I not hear that before? It's like... Thing's squeaking up, bro. Uh, you want some oil on those cogs? What the heck, Darcy? Uh, give me like Toradon match vibes. You know that uh, we, we know what that links to right now. Not the best thing, right? Kind of weird. Okay, we'll get this done. I'll join you guys back unless something weird happens. But I think this is more about surviving, and then maybe after that, things get a bit trippy up in these ends. Let's go, guys. She said it, not me. You gotta believe her, right? Oh boy. Whoa, whoa. Give me a sec. Let me uh, lock in, right? Let me just... Uh, I mean, I'm still doing it, though. And you've got quite the window, so it's like... It's kind of tricky, but like... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Like, one miss here, one miss there. And, and, look, guys, everyone misses, right? So we're going to miss. Every time you try and play, right? You're not going to hear everything you win in life. But the game knows that. That's why it, it gives us so many chances. There we go. We did it. Yes, dude. I'm so good. Do I want to do that? I mean, sure. Uh, hey, dancing with Darcy, why are you standing still? You do the dance. Do you dance ever feel thing. like no matter how hard you try to do the right thing, you end up still failing? Sometimes, I guess. Sucks, like, I hate that feeling, but, uh, why do you ask? Huh? Mistakes just keep happening. Uh huh. I feel. Guys, jump scare breaks. I'm so nervous. I'm like. <sighs> why do you say that, Darcy? Then I suffer for my mistakes. Oh. Ugh. She's got those wide eyes now. Ah, she's gonna jump at the screen, guys. Not here. Uh oh. Oh uh, wait, the lights went down a bit. I am not me. I think you are. I think you wish. I you am were. not one. I am not what one. Oh, she broke. She's crying, bro. Oh shoot. Could not run. What? What do you mean? Locate the file and try- What do you mean? Because he was not stable. He grew a stay and night. I know it was wrong for me to leave him for someone else, but now he has hurt so many others and needs to be stopped. Like, I don't know what that means. Does that mean we're done? Like, with that iteration of the game? I don't know. Do I have to go back in again? I don't know. Let me open it back up. Hold on. Let me see. Maybe, did I, is it because I didn't beat the practice mode? Is that what it is? Hold up. Okay, so that doesn't do much. Then we can just click on this again. We've already- Oh, and I can't- Are you serious, bro? I gotta watch this again. <laughs> okay, but like, I don't really get, like, what else can I do here? So we got the security sensor, like, I can't- I don't know how we open this. Like, I don't know what else we can really do in that game. It seems like it just ends there. What is typewriter? Is it literally like- Hold on, hey, bud. Let your imagination run wild! Okay, uh, hello? My- I'm dead. That's my mind gone. I'm sorry. I, I can literally just write in this, guys. It is- it is what you think. Uh, when things get tough, never give up hope. Okay, thanks, sir. What- what's your next tip, though? When I used to work, I always would use numbers to keep track of everything. Okay, one. Hello. Yes, I know numbers are useful. Uh, you- you already said that. Anything more, though? Chief? Whoa, what the freak? That's his butthole. Guys, that makes th using the pencil really weird, though, because are we just not writing with his turd, though? Okay, so I don't think there's much in that, so we can disregard that, too, for now. At least we can always press enter and bring it all back. What is puzzle patterns? Match all the shape patterns, okay? So, I, I remember this thing really confused me last time, because I didn't get what it meant by this. Like, uh, you match all of the shape patterns, so would you not just do this and, like, you win? What does it mean? What's the game? <laughs> what, what pattern do I match? I don't know what that is. Book reader? What is this? Creative rabbit? Oh, I don't want to read all this drum, bro. Hold on. I mean, Once upon a I'm sure it's a good read, but, like, you know, if you guys want to read it, you're more than welcome to, but I'm more interested in these little numbers. This, they, they just seem like little stories more so. The desperate businessman, the pain of love, the creative rabbit. Hold up. In the heart of a bustling city, a once thriving business owner was facing the harsh reality of a declining empire. As the profits dwindled and debts mounted, desperation gripped him, driving him to explore the unconventional solutions to revive his ailing enterprise. Rumors whispered through the forgotten corners of the city about an abandoned factory that held mysterious secrets. Legend spoke of a computer hidden within its decaying walls. Okay, this feels like this actually might relate. Desperate to turn the tides of his fortune, the business owner decided to venture into the eerie depths of the forsaken factory. Amidst the discarded machinery and forgotten memories, the business owner stumbled upon the computer that had become the stuff of local legends. With trembling hands, he powered on the machine. As the flickering screen came to life, an ominous energy emanated 
emerged from the depths of the abandoned factory. Unbeknownst to the desperate businessman, he had unwittingly unleashed a malevolent force that lay dormant within the old computer. As the code started to run, a sinister presence seized control of the man's consciousness. Dark tendrils of corrupted data entwined with his thoughts, twisting his desperation into a thirst for power and control. The once struggling business owner felt a surge of newfound strength coursing through his veins, but it came at a cost. Under the influence of the malevolent force, the businessman's actions took a dark turn driven by a sinister compulsion. He began to engage in unethical practices to boost his profits. Deception, sabotage, and ruthless maneuvers became the tools of which he sought to rebuild his empire. This would only result in a greater downfall of his business as time goes on. That feels like it might relate. And I'm also seeing that the numbers this time, like we've got a four, seven, and a six, so they're not all in order, but maybe we gotta go through these and find them one by one. We'll open this too. If you guys wanna read this, you're welcome to pause and then read. I'm, I'm all, all about, about those, those numbers, numbers though. though. Okay, guys, I had to look up a little tip for this one, and I think I get it. So if you click on all of these, you see we've got like seven, eight, and there was a four down here. I've written all the numbers down, right? Over here, there was more numbers. Let me just read you basically. Amongst these, it's like I think 11 digits total. Seven, six, four, six, two, three, five, eight, seven, four, six. Now, I was trying to put this over in uh, wherever the little documents thing is. It didn't work. I think it's for this. We dial numbers, and that makes me think, you know, the pictures with the three people, there was a five digit number two. So that means it would be five, 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 three, nine, eight, seven, four, nine, six, one, seven, eight, four. First off, we're going to dial the, uh, you know, the one I just found, and we'll go back. Five, eight, seven, four, six. It says connecting. Bro, we got that 56 kilobyte internet connection. Gonna download a picture, it's gonna take 14 days though. Oh my, can we get the call please? It worked. Hello. <laughs> What? What the freak? Wait, hold up. No way. What was that? Come on. All of that for that? Dude literally said hello. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, let's try the other number. Okay, this is from the pictures. Let's see what this gives us after the whole. Wait, answered. Hold on. 78. What? 78. Okay, hold up. 77. We're gonna listen to this again. 72. This is more binary. Sixty-three. Oh my gosh. Six, Sixty-two. Thirty-nine. Oh my gosh. Guys, look how long it goes on for. Sixty-three. This is unbelievable. 73. You done? Oh, thank you for hanging up. My goodness, what the freak? Okay, guys, this is what the code is here. It's one said sixty or sixty. I did not know it sounded both so sim. Shut the freak up! Wait, whoa. I was just about to call on the internet. Hold up. Zero. Zero. One. Zero. One. I'm writing this down. One. 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 Zero. One. 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 Zero. One. Zero. Zero. One. Uh huh. One. Zero. One. Zero. One. 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 Zero. 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 One. Uh huh. One zero. Oh my dude. One one. This is crazy. Zero zero. Okay. One zero. Okay, I'll be right back. That's it. What's that? That's like a string of some kind. Why did they give us this? Hold up, what? Okay, let's start with the first one. So it's a hexadecimal code we've been given again. Let me just try and break this down. Okay, this might work. Look, it's given us 911 CLS. Let's try this. It's It worked. Oh, <gasps> way, no way. Hold up. Let's listen up. The following audio is recorded from the local county police department. Okay. Some audio may be disturbing. What, what incident is this from? Then we got the other code after we gotta get through. First call. Okay, comes through. 911, what's your emergency? Please, you have to come quick. There's something wrong with our computer that's frightening my son and myself. Oh, shoot. Point, please. Yeah, please. My son loves playing games on our computer, so I went in to check on him. And as I did, this face showed up on our screen and immediately crashed our computer, leaving my son to run to me crying. Hmm. I've never seen anything like that, but it was horrifying. I have no idea what that thing was, but I've been feeling an unsettling presence in the room since. Yeah, I get that. Okay, we'll set a squad over, but just stay on the call with me until they arrive. Yeah. Oh, is that an... She... What the heck? Hey! Yeah. You want help or not? She just did. She's what the freak. A new call coming through. Here we go. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> Please, please, you have to come help me. What? Oh, boy. He's not breathing. His eyes are playing. What's he doing? Okay, okay, calm down, man. I saw his dad, bro. Explain to me what happened. 
Address it first, was maybe? playing his favorite game at the computer, and I hear a scream. So I went to check it's out. It's like taking their souls? He's dead, he's dead, I don't know. <laughs> oh. The game is don't like worry, absorbing we'll souls, man. An to your house right away. That dude's like, oh, okay, all right. And we've got another one here. Okay, dispatcher. Someone, what's your emergency? What? Okay, okay, um, someone track down whoever this caller is. Yeah. Ooh, he's giving us that smart dog glare. Okay. Nice teeth. Maybe visit a dentist in your little world. Guys, I'm about to hit a half split pose, though. You want to see that? Okay, guys, so this is what happens if we convert the zeros and ones to another website page. It gives us, oh, man, look at this. What the heck? Eight people who work there. I'm guessing they're all uh, they're all dead now. Blank eyes. What about if we save this image though? No, nothing there. So this is a, this is an image showing really the uh, the eight eight employees that may have passed away. The we read the news article about that, so that could allude to that. I guess that's why the person called us back. You no, know, we didn't actually try failing the Darcy game. Let me try and fail. See what happens though. Okay, it's over. It's over for us. I'm at that negative zero. Look. So I gotta wait this whole thing out. Hold up. Right, it's over, guys. I didn't press nothing. You failed. Yep, I know. I did it I on purpose. What? Why? Because I'm bad. Why did that happen? Because I'm I'm stupid. That wasn't supposed to happen. I know, but I'm stupid though, so. Why did he have to hurt me like that? Make oh. Make it like he's not there. Is now all these Whoa! Okay! My screen's done this thing again. Inverted colors though. Oh dear. It clo- Wait, excuse me. It just clo- What? Whoa! What the f- is that the two people in the car? What are eyes like that? What the freak bug eyes that we see that? And it starts my game. What the heck is going on, guys? Man, I'm still trying to figure out what I really do in this game. I don't know anything. I think this one has some significance because we see the keys here. Uh, and then in this game, we had like, we could get the same key. I don't know if that just me looking into it too much. Oh, wait, hold up. Video editor. What about if we uh, bring this over? If I double click that, I can like, I can change. I can invert the colors on it. Uh, well that does nothing. What about brightness though? Maybe I should do this. Ooh, the eyes shift. Ew, there's a little face in there. Play? It's still play. We can still mess with this at the same time. That's kind of cool, actually. Like, it's not really showing anything, I don't think at least. Wait, would that be a different URL? I'm just thinking. It does look like the spots change. Oh, it does. Yo, it's- Okay, we pretty much get the hyperlink forward slash memories. Okay, I can't get the windows over the game anymore. That's so weird. So I gotta close this game down to get it to work. Okay, memories. What is this, dude? Let's go full screen. Yeah, I'm watching this. Yeah, I got my popcorn. Yeah, I feel uncomfortable. Any more questions? Is that house? Is that like someone's house where it was all... Okay, this house has passed down for generations. To who? I probably changed the audio. I think this is definitely copyright audio, guys. So slow down a lot. Uh-huh. Too many memories to count. Another room. Is that like a little drawing area? Workspace, though? Why did he have to hurt us? Who? This game is so vague about everything. There's always illusion. It's, it's alluding to someone or something, but then it's hard to find out. Like, there are so many branching stories at the same time happening here. Is it like the father? Why did he have to hurt us? I'm guilty of leaving him for... Wait, what? Guilty of leaving him for... Okay, hold up. What? That makes me think that little book reading area, those stories were inspired by, uh, like, real stories. But we had no choice. Okay, so that's about someone leaving him or something. I had to leave him for someone, but we had no choice because of the computer. He's dangerous. The creator of the computer is dangerous, right? Harmful? Help us before it's too late. Do you think I'm trying to dang do? You just tell me how I help you guys. Oh, should I do the half split pose again? Then? Okay, so that's cute. That's interesting, but still, it's like there's still more stuff. Hold on, let me play this through to the end again. There's got to be something we do here. The keys for here and the security thing, they look the same. Okay, so what about if I do this? Get the other key, right? Then do that. So now we're going to go right. Instead of going to the smiley face, we'll go up and out. I don't know what this means, guys. I don't know what this is. There's got to be something that we need here. I'm not going into system 32. I've learned my lesson that we don't do this. I have reached a dead end guys, I'm gonna actually look up a guide for this thing because I don't know what this is. So apparently match all of the shape patterns. Is it to, like, I, I, it, it doesn't make any sense. It's literally the same thing. 
I was just chilling, bro. Wait, hold on. Let me get my phone real quick. Let me get my phone real quick. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, I think I just solved that. Well, I didn't. I looked at someone's guide, but you know what I'm trying to say, though. Interview one. It's another video. Okay, let's... Hold on. Who's that dude that we know him, right? We know that face. Is he not the developer of the, uh... The game, Jumpin' Julian? Greetings, oh. Mr. Monkford. Mr. Monkford? You sound the same person, but... To work at Rossi, Damn, that's a busy workspace. <laughs> the brilliance of a computer chip is always fascinating, me. Yeah, yeah. The human mind is something of a computer chip. It's got an evil connotation, we hear that? You were the developer for Jumping Julian, which gained a lot of attention a few months ago. I mean, I did, but that was all the past. Okay. I see. Uh, why don't we take five? We can discuss more a little bit later. And that's it for the interview, guys. Half split pose, though. I'm gonna try out this, guys. I'm just, I'm just going through all of this stuff right now. I don't know what the heck I'm trying to do here, man. So we're gonna match these up. Well, that was lucky, though. Okay, so we get different levels here. We just work our way through them. We get as many chances as we want to, it looks like. So, uh, I don't remember where these... I ain't even seen that shape, though. Oh, come on right now. Was it this one and this one, or is it... Okay. Match that, match that. My brain is, uh... Guys, it's a bit... It's a bit crappy sometimes, all right? Where have I seen that? Was it this one? It is. Yes. Okay, let's go. This one. This one. Yep. We're going now. We're moving places. We are moving and grooving. Oh, and then we're stopping and... Okay. Yeah, these two level one. Get freaking wrecked, bro. It's like two sounds at the same time, and I love it. How many levels to this, though? Right? King's Crown, Jigsaw puzzle piece this one oh look at that wow jigsaw puzzle piece though can we get that telephone okay hold up my luck key nope oh but i know what that is though why am i having more like a less difficulties with this one though oh my goodness it's just guys it's just going places look level two done how do we know what games have the, the secrets hidden within them? There's always something cryptic here. It's just trying to understand, like, what the heck is going on, how we know. Okay, more realistic pictures this time. The balloon there, telephone. The oh, hold up. Ooh, this is a bit more like, hmm, because the black SUV, we know, and the, the blue sedan. This is kind of weird, actually. So this one, why would you make this out of physical things that we, you know, we've seen by this point? That's just odd. And these two, that's matched up real... Huh, I don't feel so celebratory about that game. Level four. Oh, 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 this... Oh, well, this is a bit more weird, but, you know, I will match the eyeballs together, though, you know, I've still got play... <laughs> nope. No good sound. I'm trying to help, I'm trying to help. Give me a moment. Just, that's a different knock, though. We're kind of acing this. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is not good. I'm done with this match game. So we heard kids were dying when they played these games too. <laughs> Don't laugh like that. Don't laugh like that. What is this? Huh? Bro, it's all the same. Look. Do I let me scan this? Hold up. Oh, second. Oh, this is fortunate. Okay, so second interview with this QR code. Alright, let's see how this carried on then. It took five, right? Is that Bro, that's a YouTuber, right? Hello, my name is Evan Anderson, and I have been working at Calvis Games for the past three months. All right. In that short period of time, we at Calvis Games have been working hard to deliver the most entertaining and educational games for your children sure. and family. He's definitely not Our reading the script, has right? Made hard work and efficiency a top priority. So you can count on us at Calvis Games to bring you the best gaming experience for you to enjoy. Okay. But can we talk about the weird stuff? Hold up, there's a number down there too, look. 888-746-39247. Let's give it a call. We've learned our lesson, right? You call the numbers you see in this game. But I'm, I'm gonna be ready with, uh, I would say pen and paper, but my, my mouse and keyboard ready to type up some weird cryptic message they give us. It's connected. Good. X. X. It's a... Down. This is gonna be a website o link. Uh-huh. D. Whoa, I knew it. Okay. L. R. T. La. C. L. Lartical. L. Article. L. Article. Oh, hold up. What is this? Mysterious disappearance of three children at gaming convention shakes community. In a shocking turn of events that sent ripples of fear and concern throughout our community, three children have gone missing during a gaming convention, which took place at 2.30 p.m. on 25th of May, 1999. The missing kids are Ellie, Miller, David, and Johnny Smith. As the clock ticks and the search for these young souls intensifies, the public is left wondering about the circumstances surrounding their disappearance. Gaming conventions are usually a hub of excitement where players, developers, and fans come together to celebrate their shared passion for video games. The event in question 
question, a highly anticipated gathering for gamers was supposed to be a fun-filled day of competition, showcase, and camaraderie. But as the day unfolded, the joy quickly turned to anguish. Ellie Miller, a 12-year-old girl, was attending the convention with her family. Ellie was known for her passion and for adventure games and her vibrant personality. She was last seen near the entrance of the convention center, excitedly discussing her favorite games with fellow attendees. Her parents lost sight of her when they briefly turned their attention to the exhibits. David Smith, 13, and his younger brother, Johnny, 10, had come to the convention with their father. Both boys were avid gamers, and they couldn't contain their enthusiasm as they explored the various game setups. Their father, Stephen Smith, assumed they were safe in the bustling crowd that took the opportunity to grab a quick bite to eat, and that's when they went missing. As soon as the families of the missing children realized that something was amiss, they immediately reported the disappearance to the authorities. The police were quick to respond, launching their extensive search operation throughout the convention center. However, with the labyrinth layout of the venue and the large number of attendees, finding any leads proved to be a formidable challenge. The convention center security cameras that were currently being reviewed and authorities are seeking any potential witnesses who might have seen something unusual at the time of the disappearance. Convention attendees are being urged to come forward with any information that could help in locating Ellie, David, and Johnny. Community members and concerned parents have gathered to show their support for the affected families. The clock ticks and the sense of urgency grows. The entire community is united in their hope for the safe return of the missing children. The sudden and mysterious disappearance of Ellie, David, and Johnny has sent shockwaves throughout the community. Parents have left grappling with the unsettling reality that such a tragic event could unfold at the seemingly joyful and secure gathering like a gaming convention. Okay, what is going on? Like, how, how did that happen though, right? Like, it, was this game here someone at the, the, the thing in, within the game involved, right? There's gotta be some more stuff here. Okay, missing children at gaming conventions. Uh, a game developer who made a game that made people like, you know, do the unthinkable. Just a couple of things that I've noticed so far is some of this has to be linked. I think the soul's somehow in this game too. Another thing I was just looking through guys is in this image here, this one, if we brighten this up, like on my recording, I can actually see it. There's numbers there. I think, I don't know. Yeah, I can see it, it says 836. This led us to this one, I see you, I see you use the word it didn't do that last time hold up slash work log okay <laughs> i got you <laughs> this game is uncomfortable as freak bro let's check out this it's a, it's a full video maybe we did get this last time i don't know 9 12 19 recording okay very good and i'm adding this work log in regards of the new guy what is he here for and what did he do well my name is Edward Phillips, and I've been part of Red Incorporated for about five years now. Working here has been pleasant all of these years. Uh huh. Everyone seems like they enjoy what they do. Well, except for this one. Recently, the company hired this new guy. Is it the Jump and Julian developer? Off about him. He never smiles. I rarely see him on the job site. I think it is. And when he passes by, he just ignores my friendly greetings. I'm not sure where Mr. Carter found this guy, but perhaps he's a little nervous. About working in a new place. Hmm. But I still don't understand what he's here for and what he's going to be doing. Either way, I'm not going to judge him. Okay, hold up, half split pose again. Okay, I don't know if that's in relation to the guy who was employed who made Jump and Julian, because he seems, sounds like he's got some kind of evil connotations, doesn't smile much, but at the same time, it could also be, you know, there was the uh, the guy who was involved in the accident, like they someone employed him, maybe that was the mystery guy, did he employ him, he's here, he doesn't get it. There's another thing which is interesting about this, guys, in some of these, I think the trailers and such, there are actual, like, uh, you know, secret things. I've heard in this one, there's something. So this is Darcy.exe. Hey, yeah, we know about that. Okay, but what might it be? I'm looking everywhere, guys. My eyes are like... Healed all around. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, I, the game was all right in the end. It wasn't great. So this it's alluding to this here? Piece of paper? I mean, he's, I will serve you. What the fuck? Freak, bro, and then we see this. What the? What was that? So within this, we can actually find a frame that alludes to an accident URL, which is here. With this, I think, is the accident that happened. Fatal car accident resulting in the death of a mother and daughter on August 12, 98. So we've read all of this about yeah, the black pickup truck and the, the blue sedan. The driver swerved into the wrong lane and collided with a blue sedan driven by Diana. Diana was accompanied by a six-year-old daughter, Marissa. The collision resulted in fatal injuries to both of them, leading to their immediate deaths. So yeah, this is just uh, an, another page about like what we already know. So. That's, uh, I don't know why we'd, it'd show us that. I guess just to link something to do with this dancing Darcy game, right? It could be Diana, Darcy, like there's a link that I don't know. Yeah, I don't get this game. This I don't get, how do you get this in motion? Because this, this is obviously something you have to do, but there's, there is nothing here that it, that tends to me. All I find is just like external URLs. I feel like obviously there's a mystery here, but it's like, okay, so what do I do? I feel like I've done everything. I'm just a bit too confused. I, I'm just gonna play through this super quick and just see if there's something here. Good versus evil equals, yes. Okay, death equals pain. Uh, what the freak is- Okay! 
Guys, I'm kind of like half flying through everything. I feel like I'm like 10% in the game. I don't have time to like do this that much longer. It's going to be like forever, bro. But we got something here. It says, hi. Should say my name. You ain't saying my name, bro. Actually, my name is user in real life. You thought my name was Ryan, though? <laughs> Someone's communicating with us through this game, though. The math game. Oh, heck nah. Whoa, whoa. Hello. How you doing? He's going to jump scare, guys. Got those big eyes. He's going to eat my face up, bro. You see that? Opening that mouth wide. What is this? I'm scared. Do, do I need to be scared? Okay, that was just a funny prank. He just like, ha, ah, got you. Did you get scared? I need to, uh, uh, I, 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 I gotta copy this. Again, it's like, wait, page not found. You just gave me this though, bro. What do you mean? You literally just gave me this code. I just copied it. So this actually gives us distress code. That's some kind of code again hidden, guys. There's so many hidden codes and it loads up this. I mean, I'm Hello. finding a lot. Hang on. Listen, I just witnessed something terrible. I should have known that something fishy was going on with this company over the past years. Happened. Company's messed up, man. I was doing my normal cleaning routine. So this is like a janitor. The basement, so the staff only door uh -huh. was unlocked, and I heard a distant scream coming. What were they doing? Whoa. I went to go check it out, and I saw it. It took her. It? So I ran out of there as fast as I could, and I came inside of the janitor's closet, and I'm recording this now. Well, on your Nokia? What is this? Calvis games, man. Oh, he's no, been found. No. And that must have been his end. You know, that dude's a great actor, though. That was really well delivered. So maybe some of these games serve a purpose. So what about if we just kind of circle down, holding on the Calvis games? It feels like, you know, when we get those screens where it says, like, you know, you got to do something, key.dl. If we do something with that, if we get it in motion, then each of the times we beat these games and get to that point again, something can be changed. Hey, sir, how you doing? Get off my freaking... I can't stop this. Is that it? Yeah, get out of here. Freaking weirdo. All right, guys, I'm having to directly refer to a guide here just to get me started. I don't know. It talks about the ball popper game. We played this a lot last time. So it's another Calvis Games. We got to find the one of these that kickstarts the ability to free the souls. I don't get it. Hey, hold up. Well, they redid this. I think it says if you simply lose, that's it. Even though, why is it so hard to lose? I might try, okay, I might try to lose, I was gonna say. I gotta bounce up, bounce to the side. Oh shoot, guys, I'm so bad at this game. Oh shoot, because we got a super high score last time. It did nothing, right? Uh-oh. Oh no, I died. By accident, definitely by accident. I didn't do it on purpose. Hello? Oh, hey, <laughs> how are you doing? Uh, catch this. Oh shoot, oh, you're in front of the ball, my bad. <laughs> they won after that? Okay, this makes more sense now. We know that kids are like going missing. Kids are like perishing playing this system. This must be another kid locked away in this game. I think every single Calvis games, if we beat all of those, we're gonna be able to do something to like free these kids. And maybe that's the whole online thing at the security center. I just don't know how we proceed ahead. <laughs> Bro turned into a raging bull at the end. But for what? Honey, also entering 666 here gets something weird. R6P something. Repent of your sins. That it might just be repeating repent, right? Uh, something. So, yeah, I think that's what he's doing. Oh, that's scary. This. Oh, yeah, we got the IC one as well, which we've seen. That gave us the work log thing. Okay, apparently what we have to do in this game here is get a high score of 1,990, which sounds like it'd take forever, but this actually won't take that long at all. Uh, that was uh, just a bad trade, though. I got nothing from that. What the freak? So I'm going to play through this game with this best music in the world, bro. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Look, guys, I, I need just some peace and quiet. I want to add my own music here, okay? The tune is just not the banger I want. I need motivation. I need to feel good right now. Look, oh shoot. Oh my God, did you see that? That was kind of, what do you mean? Why are you blaming me for that though? Impossible. Okay, so we've got nine, one, nine, nine, zero. Apparently we need this score. So if we close the game down. Okay, but it says this. I don't know what this is, dude. All right, I've done extensive research and apparently one of the first clues is in jumpinjulian.wav. So if we load this in, I don't know if we reverse it or play it. Set them all free. Key that will set them all free. 
Okay, but the banger in reverse, though, just kind of pops off. Though. So in this game here, which we've beat, jump off the platforms backwards. And this is from DreamWorks. So who is this? This must come before, like, the, the other one, the other studio. So jump off the platforms backwards. Jump off the platform like this? Like, jump off? Like, this way? Because we did that before. No way! Oh my god! Is this it? I got a key! Did this just give me the, the, the key on DLL? I'm not going to... As you can see in the time, I've been playing for over two hours by this point, trying to scour this thing. So I said nice things last time to this dude. I was just testing. It seems like the souls in each of these games and that are the Calvin's games or whatever, Calvin's games. So if you be nice to them, you can free them. So we said this last time. So let it... We got this. Let me... Don't just give me... Just tell me I'm freeing souls, bro. Could not... It still says it's missing. I'm going to jump up here. It, you've got to do all that, and I've got the key, so use the key. Did I use the key? It loads the game up again, so now in level three, do I find another platform to jump off? I know there is one, and I know that because in the first level, I redid jumping off, and it put me back at the spawn, which I know happened in level three, so let's do it one more time. Very interesting as well. <laughs> Very interesting as well, how like when we open this game, it's got like the heavenly cloud. Oh my god, I can see in this. What the heck is this? Oh, we out here? Oh, we out here, baby? Let's go. Can I run? I, I, guys, I'm literally a, I'm an orb. Key. I got it. It's a key. So I've absorbed the key. I am a key. I am now a key, guys. Look at me. I'm a, I'm a key. So with the key, do I gotta go somewhere in this place? I didn't know there was a door that was sealed up in here. I guess now I should be more consciously aware. Do I, I need four keys? Is that what it's trying to say, though? I can't click. I can't interact. I can't do much of anything, really. There's another key. Hold up. Get that one. Am I, is it four keys I'm looking for? So let's just look around. Is this stretching on longer than I remember? I got two keys, and I keep walking down. Whoa, whoa, what's this? <gasps> Was I supposed to go to that one? I don't know. I don't know. Something's happening here. Finally, something is happening. It is finished, they say. Who the freak spit in that? I want that to be a fact. Can I believe? Oh, oh, I just cut them out. They were just, they were spitting the heavenly, like, you know, oh, and I just pressed an, any key. I regret doing that. Okay, so let me just, let me just see, let me just see, because if we have now a piece of the puzzle to continue on, then we might be able to go for... Jumping Julian, ball popper. The other thing, right? Oh my God, this is it. Okay, we're gonna do this one one more time. This is with the talking head. Let's say nice things. Maybe it's gonna work now. I hope it is. Please, yes, just talk. please, is please. Nice. Yes, dude. <sighs> we're on the pace. I'm actually being it now, guys. I get it. I get what I'm doing. Yes, bro. So we gotta get six of these, and then we execute something, and then when we do that, we can, uh, I guess. Free the souls? The six? There must be six souls in this game then. That's what we have to assume, right? Six different people trapped within the confinements of Calvary's games. Are they the children or the staff though? Because eight staff went missing. I don't know. Jumping Julian has the, the key to getting them out though? So, I was here thinking that the developer of that game was the bad person. Could it be that Calvary's games is the bad guy? Then that guy that was employed, he saw that and then he, uh, you know, he began to... He, he gave this application the ability to set these souls free. And that was it. Okay, what's it gonna say this time? I only got one key. It's finished again. And we hear the same music. So my guess is if I press space bar, sorry about that. I know the soul's trying to make me feel good and stuff, but like, I got four more to deal with. Stop being selfish. Thing is, I, I know where another one is. It's in that like the princess game, right? So if we now go and check this again, there it is online. So it's not good enough yet. We need more keys. So the next one was in this game, Kingdom Quest. Let's get to the ending. Okay, so knowing that it's, it's relatively, si I don't think we have to unlock that. If we just leave, this was where it said last time, yeah, it's every time we see the whole, like, key DLL, that was the hint towards, like, you are missing a step, sir. Think about it. Up your brain, auntie. What's wrong with your brain matter? Why are these dots not connecting? My bad, my bad. Just when I stare at a game for, like, 88,000 hours, my brain starts to fizzle a little bit. So we got the key. Now we find where the uh, the lock would have been. That's the thing. I don't know where the lock is now, so I gotta hope that I find it. Three children went missing at the game convention. One parent called about their child now looking soulless. So I wonder... How the other four? Oh no, that would be four in total. So there's two more souls of children. It could be one could be the parent and the mother of the the blue sedan that crashed. Maybe I don't know. And then okay, they give me so many keys though. That's three. We're done. My goodness. Okay, key hungry. So thinking about the you are forgiven. If we're forgiving someone, why would we wouldn't forgive a child? So I wonder if the the maybe the drunk driver 
is the talking Gerald head thing. He's forgiven, right? You know, he's saying like, oh, because why else? We wouldn't forgive a child for being caught up in this. So maybe that's what that represents. I don't know. So we freed his soul too. So we mustn't be freeing necessarily like children's souls. Also, I can't find what the freak I do next. I've been looking around this thing for so long. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? 44, 33, 13, 43. Do I remember this? Hold up. Okay, so I, I know, guys, I didn't find this legit. Look, I'm just on a roll right now. This is what we have to use this for. So this is apparently for some kind of code, right? It's going to give us a URL here. Yo, it says the the thing is, is like this. It's like kill him. Oh my gosh, it worked. What is the freak is this? Jay Monkford, the brain of that happy. He's like killing it. That doesn't work or something. What's he talking? There's some kind of diagram here. Oh, so he tried the, the brain of an animal first in his game. Didn't work, look. Didn't work, like killing it and then doing it. Didn't work. Tried a human, a dead human. Then it worked. Breaking apart and there's like a shard in there. What the heck? Okay, so I have that now, but what is, is that it for this? Is there something else I do here? I don't get it, guys. I don't get it. I've looked around this whole thing. I don't know if there's another another thing we do to break out. Maybe I'm in the wrong area. I don't know. I don't know. That might have just been like an extra secret we could find. Kingdom Quest. Check it out. There's, it's locked. I don't get it. I don't understand. I looked everywhere where I use the keys. I don't really understand. So we'll come back to that one. So BP Ball Popper. Let's do that one again. We're going to get 1990. Uh, oh my goodness. I am enjoying now that I've finally got a flow with the law, but... <laughs> gonna do the same thing so many times and this song is maddening when muting it. Okay, 1990, close the game down. So this time it worked. Good. Good, good, good. I, I don't know if it's like a maze. Okay, so we know the key location is down here, right? Oh, oh that's easy then. Like, the other one was so confusing. The princess thing. Maybe I didn't do it right. I'm not sure. There's your key. It looked like there may only be one in this one. We'll, we'll bounce up and down as we uh, drift across. Just on the off chance there's more than one, but no, I think that's it. There they are. One of maybe four? Maybe that's... I don't know. Maybe each game has four souls in. I don't know what that means. So the screen's going white again. In the princess game, I actually closed it down. Like, I closed the uh, the game. Did I close the game down, or was it, like, the whole thing? I can't remember, bro. Uh, I, like, because I couldn't find a way to close that, like, thing when I was trapped in the labyrinth. It started to fade out, though, so maybe all I gotta do is, like, press a button and it'll do it? Okay, I was thinking, guys, what about if because I only got one key and left, I need both the keys and then there'll be an exit somewhere. Like now if I leave, is there is there gonna be an exit that we can find? I only came here in here with one key. Like, is, maybe that's it, let's look around, hold up. I, I'm hopeful guys, I really am. I'm actually like, maybe I'm onto this. There's a key that, did we get that key last time? That's a third key. Fourth key, I don't think there was four keys last time. Huh, this could be something. Or maybe it was like we put both keys in this world by collecting both keys and then coming through. Uh, wait, that, that, that just puts a hole in my plan. That's the fifth key, what the heck? Found you! Oh my gosh, they were hiding in the middle. Got you. There we go. Okay, that's another soul hidden. Or hidden? Uh, why, well, was hidden. Now we've gone ahead and found it. Give me that music. Give me the aura. Make me feel good. All right, enough of that. We got two more souls to go. Okay, what's left? D, D, and A, B. Dancing with that. What, what, what did we do? What was that? There was something. Maybe if we open this again. Is it if we fail or was it in the question mark thing? I can just imagine one of those sequences, you know, where, the, where there's like the reverse audio. It's like, people are like, oh, I wonder what he's saying. He just reversed it. The, the dev is just like, blah, blah, blah. More keys. More keys. More keys. Oh, this is small. Okay, I like this. This is a very small, confined area. A kingdom quest. Take inspiration. This is how we like it. Hey, little sad fella. We got you. Don't worry about it. There's another one. So there's one left. In, I think it's AA. What is that game? Okay, AB. Astral Blast. Ass Blast. I never actually played this game. I'm excited. So it is the last Calvis games that we're going to check out today. We have to get a high score of 10... But this is this is literally what my butthole makes eight in the morning when I'm trying to get it done, you know. Press spacebar to blast the asteroids. Okay, press and hold. Ooh, what about if they get past me though? Do, uh, does it do something bad? I don't know. So if I get this, hold on, S. Two, that's just points though. I love the, I love the little sound. That's so cute. Like listen, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are flying upwards and downwards. Can you see that? Do you even understand that perspective? I don't either, so don't worry about it. Where the freak the asteroids? They're boring. Look at this thing, man. Look. Get destroyed. Get wrecked. Oh, that's too... I can't get that. That's way too fast, though. Okay, 10k points like this. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Yo, this is hard. They fall too fast. I'm like, I'm just doing this, hoping that they fall in, like, my line of path. Oh, there you go. That's more... 
Hold up, this might be the strike, guys. Get that, that's just three points. Speed, perfect speed upgrade, we want that. Does it last forever, though? That is my next question. Speed, yeah, we got more speed. Love speed. This one, too. I don't know what that is. Oh, an extra life, okay. It's so slow. It is so freaking slow. Look at this. No, no wonder this is a, this is a great spot to trap a soul. No one wants to play a game that's this slow. Like those souls are never getting out, dude. No wonder. What a smart guy. Was he a smart fella or a fart smeller? You guys let me know in the comments down below. One more man and then we're good. Boom. That's 10k. I'm going in there, baby. Okay. This should be it. This should be it. The final soul that we need. We're here for you, bud. Look, I know no one could stomach that game. I barely could. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, but I'm here. And I got the key. And I probably need more keys. So bear with me whilst I find the key. So they were trapping, like, souls within the operating system. Did it give the characters more of a sort of semblance of uh, personality? Like, what were they trying to do by doing that? Is it, is it, does it hide them somehow? Hey, bro, you ain't hiding from no one. So that's it. That's six to six. So if we go back now to that one thing, the security thing, that should be... All that we need, we can execute something. Hopefully not there. I don't want to take them all out again. They already died though. Security. I'm just doing it. I don't know. I'm not waiting, guys. Okay, so this is within this game. We are now wiping. We got Storm Soul, Philip Soul, Smith, Martinez, Gary Chan, Lopez. Wait, hold up. There's more souls in there. There's a lot, actually. DM, G Summers, E. Miller, D. Smith, J. Smith. That's a lot of people. Is this all souls in the system? Hold on, how many we got here? There's a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it goes on and on. What the freak is going on? That's a lot of lost souls, bro. What will this do when we when we execute this? It's complete. Mitter G N H H. Look at that. So the operating system is sentient. Nah, nah, keep it going. Yeah, that's it. 70, 80, 90. Get yeah, it, there you go. We got it, guys. It's done. We did it. And that's, that's Storm, right? PNG jump scare, though. What is that? Hello? Are, are you there? Are we talking to someone? Are we talking to the operating system? Hold up, guys. It's over. The evil has been destroyed. Yes, and we freed the six souls it was trapping. The light has conquered the darkness. We didn't lose hope. Thank you. I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> For releasing us from this prison. It must be their souls. The afterlife is at hand. I hope it's beautiful. This is goodbye. There you go. All the people who died then, so... Ah, uh, it's starting to come together in my head. Right? There must be the kids, all the missing souls. The eight employees, we see that. And wait, what the frick? How many- It's truly fish. That's a lot of people who died. Look at that, 246, wow. So it showed you the souls that we freed and all of the other ones, the external souls that were trapped within this operating system. People going missing, parents going missing. So it's, uh, it, yeah, that seemed to be what was happening. They were um, kind of hiding away and locking away these, uh, these souls within the, uh, I don't know, I guess the game, the different games and stuff. We learned a lot about the companies, the different guys that were involved, like the, the new employees. How people at the company started to suspect things were up. Calvers games needed to be exposed and just stuff like that. And I guess uh, this was just kind of learning some of that. I still think there's, there's a lot in here that we didn't find, which is uh, kind of interesting. It makes me wonder how much deeper this game is about to go. But, you know, we, I feel like we explored enough to understand what we did. Wait, special thanks to Switch Swellers for designing Ryan's. De that wouldn't be my ad, bro. They want to put my ad. There's no way, right? Ain't no way. I kind of want to go back in the game and try and see now, though. When things get tough, never give up hope. You said it best, man. Look at this, dude. Get, got an idea, made a game, and there you go. Executed well. I've been recording. This is nearly three hours of recording, guys. This is a big project here. You know, this was a this was a big, uh, big story. Oh, that's cool. I like that ending. Nice. Look at that vintage mouse, though. Offline. There you go. The computer we had, we uh, it was a good job we did find it, I guess, because we were able to put an end to the nightmare for the, all the souls trapped within. And there you go. 
the end to the, the beast trapped within 98XX. Don't know enough about that. There you go, guys. That's our end. That's it. We did it. Okay, I need to see the ad, though. Hold up. How do I- wait, how am I about to see the ads, though? Like, I <laughs> It's like, they just said it was here. I don't know where. Oh, it's probably- it's probably gonna come up. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Is this, like, a bunch of Easter eggs for ads? I just opened this back up to see if there was anything that was missing, and it doesn't look like it, guys. I think that's the, uh, the full little adventure that this game wanted to give us. So, uh, I guess with that done, for one last time, we'll shut down 98XX, let this computer rest, and all of the souls finally be free. There it is, guys. Shutting this down once and for all, and that will be a bid farewell. Well, let me know what you thought about 98XX. I uh, did enjoy this. It's one of those games that, for whatever reason, it always was in the back of my mind, because I knew there was a big story that this developer wanted to tell. And when I heard about, finally, the full release of this game, the finalized version, I knew this was my calling to come back, because there was an end in sight, and I knew I could finally get to it. After three hours of searching, by the way, yeah, the game has, like, you know, Kenito Pet vibes with the presentation, the way it sort of, you know, tells its story. I mean, it is definitely different. This one's much more, it is a game most certainly, but it's more of like a sort of exploring simulator. A lot of what you play is very simplistic games with a story wrapped within most of it, and it can be definitely found. It, I don't know, it just gave it a nice little vibe. It was unique enough for me to enjoy playing through for the amount of time I did, and yeah, I feel like this is a great one-off video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this too. This is a big video wrapped with a full of lore. Let me know what you guys think down below. There are so many different things going on at the same time. Like, I want to say what I think, but at the same time, I'm so confused with the storyline, and I know I missed a lot of stuff that like, I, I would need to go digging for hours more if I wanted to really get it across. So with that said, feel free to put your story and lore comments down below if you guys know more about this. I will definitely be reading the comments after to understand the full story. But yeah, this is my experience of 98XX, what we found, and I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, why not drop that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, if you did enjoy, yeah, that computer I hooked up at the start, let me just, uh, yeah, that wire's never getting plugged back in again.